we like to party and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here Zara Chanel today's video is gonna be a Sephora haul so as you guys probably know Sephora has been having their spring sale VIB sale whatever you want to call it so of course I went and I picked up a couple of things honestly I ordered online I went to the store I ordered again online um, I didn't get like a crazy amount of stuff it's just that I didn't know what I wanted <laughs> so I like ordered and then ordered again and ordered again but nonetheless, um, I just pretty much wanted to unravel all these things with you guys, give you my recommendations, things I've been liking. I've pretty much tried on and tested all these products at this point, so I'm definitely giving you a review kind of thing. Um, yeah, I just wanted to recommend a few things that I recommend that you guys put in your carts. And yeah, if you guys are looking for a few things to pick up from Sephora, or if you've just been shopping and you want to see what I got, definitely stay tuned. I really got some essentials and just new things that I pretty much wanted to try. So if you guys want to see the things that I got, then definitely stay tuned and let's jump into it. All right, so jumping right into it, the first thing that I had to pick up, because honestly, this has been raved about so much on TikTok, so much to the point where I just had to buy it. Um, this is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I got this in the color Syracuse. I believe that's how you say it. It's MD1. Um, so this foundation is pretty close to my skin tone. I feel like it's a pinch bit darker than my actual skin, but you know, summertime's coming up, so that's fine. Um, when you open it up, it does have a little pump. When you pump it out, it is a little bit watery. As you guys see, it drips down a little bit, but it's not super watery to the point where you have to like run and hurry up and blend it out it will run a little bit but not too much as you guys can see and then as for the consistency it's pretty like wet in a sense but like the more you like rub it in or like pat it in it turns to like a soft I don't know like it just the more you rub it in it gets like thicker I guess and it sticks to your skin more if that makes sense so I believe this foundation is supposed to be like a medium light to medium coverage um it's not light but it's not thick so i do agree with them on that it's definitely buildable if you want it to be like more skin light more smooth you can definitely do that with this but if you also want to build it up you can definitely do that as well if you just use a brush i tried it with both a brush and a sponge a sponge gives it more of like a light airy um finish and then the brush definitely helps you build it up a lot more it is the one I'm wearing right now, and as you guys see, it is very light reflecting. Um, I did put powder, and as you see, like the light still shines. Like every, like as soon as the light hits your skin, it like shines. Honestly, I would give this a 10 out of 10. I literally love this stuff. At first, I didn't. I don't know. At first, like when I tried it, it was a hmm. It was something about it. I think it was because it was so runny at first, but it definitely dries down and then sits onto your skin okay so another thing i honestly been seeing trending on tiktok <laughs> is the topicals faded cream and honestly i have a ton of hyperpigmentation that i'm really trying to clear up especially before summer so i really was looking for a really good cream that would help fasten that process so i picked this up i haven't tried it yet i know like on tiktok people were talking about like it doesn't smell good so let me see I mean it does kind of smell weird but I feel like <laughs> they were a little bit dramatic on TikTok like they made it sound like it smelled terrible it doesn't smell good but I wouldn't say like it's it would be like a smell that would really bother me like that but yeah people have been raving about this little cream um so basically this is a brightening and clearing serum and it's supposed to even out uh, even out hyperpigmentation and help you basically just fade scars from whatever it is whether it's acne or whatever and so I have a ton of acne scars that I'm trying to fade my skin honestly is doing pretty good right now it's just they every time I get a pimple it leaves a scar so yeah I'm definitely gonna try this out for a little while probably until I finish this whole thing and hopefully I get the results that they do on TikTok because yeah they're definitely raving about this and um i believe it was because all of the ingredients they had in it even like the dermatologists on tiktok were telling me to get this so i was like 
say less. So yeah, here's all the little ingredients that I have on it. Honestly, I think I've been watching TikTok too much because <laughs> everything I bought is really based off what I've seen that people have been loving. But I know people have been loving the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So I bought the mini one, which is this big. It's pretty small compared to my phone. So this is my phone. This is how small it is. Um, but I wanted to really try it out before I buy it because this stuff is pretty expensive. Even this little jar right here cost me a pretty penny. Um, so they didn't have my shade in the mini so i just went ahead and bought i believe this is the 4.5 but i think i would need a 5 or 5.5 because it's a little bit um lighter than my skin tone let me put it on my hand yeah it's a little bit lighter but not really but i think i need a shade darker so the packaging says for a superstar youth glow and honestly they're not lying so this basically you can wear it alone i think i think i've seen people wear it alone but most people put this under their foundation i know a lot of like celebrity makeup artists have really been making this trend i know a lot of celebrity makeup artists have been using this and this is honestly why it's been trending so much um but yeah basically they've been putting this underneath their foundation and then putting their foundation on top because this really just gives you a glow from within type of thing kind of smooths out your skin and then when you put on your foundation it just looks 10 times better and I tried this on as well I do say that I really like it I don't know if it's like up to the hype though like I see the difference but they make this seem like it's like to die without I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's that I would just say if you're going somewhere where you really want to have a flawless finish this will definitely help with that but as for like everyday look I don't really think I don't know maybe it's just me it's like good but I don't know mm, I don't think it's worth the hype for the price that it is because I think if you just get a really good foundation and do a really good um underneath skincare put a nice moisturizer all of that it would help your foundation look better but if you have money to spend I mean it is pretty nice it does give you a youthful look I will give them that it does blur you out a little bit give you a flawless finish so I definitely do like this but I don't know They've been really overhyping this, but I mean, it's good. It's really good. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I've been obsessed. When I say obsessed with the Refi brand, I don't know. It's just something about this brand. I think it's like the aesthetic. It's everything. It's like her aesthetic, her branding, her packaging is just like so me, the nudes and neutrals and I just love this brand. So I went ahead and bought her cream bronzer in the color tan. So if you're my shade or lighter, I guess, the tan will work for you. But if not, if you're any darker than me, I feel like the tan might be too light. Let me show you how it looks. Yeah, it's a very light cream bronzer for me because the shade could be a little bit darker. But it's fine. I like how natural it looks. Um, but yeah, the shade, I really like it actually. Like it gives me a very natural, very um i've been in the sun type of look without looking too much like makeup i will give it to her all her products honestly do look like skin and i'm obsessed and then of course i had to try the refi brow sculpting thing i didn't get the whole kit because i know she does have her little pencil and all that i really just wanted the gel and um hmm. I don't know I mean it's pretty good though like if you want if you don't want to deal with the gel and all that then yeah definitely you could buy this and it's cute it's portable it's all of that okay so then of course it's 2022 I had to buy myself a blush so I bought the blush in the color rose um so this shade is a very pinky um kind of pink corally ish color um i do like it but i feel like it might be a little bit too light for me the shade um but i kind of like that though i don't know if it's just me but because it's so light it really looks like it's like a blush from within versus a blush that's like pretty pigmented then it looks like i'm wearing blush but this like you can barely see it but like if you're up close to me then you start to see that like little shimmer of pink so I actually really like this even though it's not it doesn't show up that much on my skin I feel like that's what makes it look so good and natural 
So yeah, I do recommend these. The consistency of the um, blush is really nice, really creamy. Um, it is pretty pigmented, um, especially if you get a darker shade. So just really play with it and go like see the shades in person, I guess. <laughs> when I bought this, I had to buy it online because she didn't release it in stores yet. But definitely go check out her blushes because I really, really, really like this. But then I got her cream highlighter. So this stuff, I am obsessed. I don't know why more people are not raving about this. I guess it's kind of old, <laughs> but old to you, new to me. But I really, really, really love this highlighter because, like, I think she made only one shade. But honestly, I agree with her. This shade is pretty universal because it's not even like really giving you a color. It's just giving you like a glow from within, and that's really what I love about her brand. I feel like it's very natural, very glowy, very airy, and this little um. This little highlighter definitely does the job. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10, love this. And honestly, this will last you for so long in this little tube because you really just need like a little dot and it will go so far. So definitely be careful when you're applying this. Do not apply too much because it will really go too far. And of course, my benefit precisely, my brow pencil. This is honestly the OG. Um, this pencil is so pigmented, very strong. I don't think it... Yeah, there's a lot of pencils that break on me a lot, but I don't think this one has ever broken on me. And I'd be having like a very hard hand. So yeah, so of course it has the little spoolie on the other side, and then you open this side, and this is the pencil. I got the shade, I believe, yeah, I got the shade 4.5, and it's perfect for me. My hair is pretty much jet black. Even though my hair is pretty dark, I still like my brows still be a little bit lighter a little bit airier so yeah the shade is like a dark brown ish type of color I think it's like a cool brown um but yeah love this pencil you cannot go wrong with it if you guys haven't tried the benefits um brow pencil definitely go try that I know the um the refi brow thing has her pencil and all but I didn't try her pencil honestly because like if it's not broken why fix it and my pencil does the job so yeah I just use this pencil with this brow kit and that's how I've been doing my brows all right so next and one of my favorites actually is the pharmacy brand absolutely love this brand it's so nourishing it's just it's just perfect um but this is the honey halo ultra hydrating moisturizer and you just un uh, twist this and you just dip it in there and put a little bit on your face honestly a little bit goes such a far way this little cap is like magnetic so it catches the cap like that um this 10 out of 10 if you are looking for a really good moisturizer for any skin type i feel like this one is really such a good pickup honestly don't have nothing to say it's just amazing 10 out of 10 highly recommend go get this all right so then i really wanted to try the refi um gloss and lip liner so here it is i got it in the shade um taupe and then the gloss is clear there's only a clear one it's literally such a cute little aesthetic and you just like any other lip gloss and boom you have that little metal um cap or whatever and I really like how this cap feels when it's like applying onto your lips it feels really like soft and it really helps the lip gloss glide um the lip gloss does feel really hydrating but other than that I wouldn't say there's anything too special about it but I mean I would try it if I was you all right so and then of course I had to go ahead and get the lip liner so here it is and of course it matches I love the aesthetic so much, like these grays, neutrals, ugh, love it. Anyways, so this thing confused me because I know there's two pieces to this and I was sitting here trying to like unscrew it for the longest, but basically this top part you just pull and then here is your lip pencil. And like I said earlier, this is the shade Taupe. And then when you want to use the bottom part, you just unscrew this and there you have it. So it has two little pieces to it. The bottom part is like a lip setter. It's supposed to set your lips into place. I do, um, I did try it out and it does work, but you have to like let it um, dry completely before you put the lip gloss on. The lip gloss is just a lip gloss. It's not gonna last all day, but the actual color does stay really long with this little lip setter. So once you get used to it and you understand how to use it better, it definitely does work. And I think this is such a cute little thing that she, you know, 
pull together. So yeah, I really love these lip pencils and I would recommend these. All right, and then of course the samples. Um, I got the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Drink of H2O. This is a hydrating boost moisturizer. Um, it's a super small thing, but honestly, I gotta give it to them. Like, <laughs> this sample was pretty good. Like, when I tried it on my um, skin earlier, I put a little bit on my forehead to test it out, and it is very moisturizing. Like, look at this. It's super hydrating. It leaves your skin so hydrated. I do agree with the claims of drink of H2O because honestly, when you put this on your skin, it feels so good. So I don't know, I'm gonna keep testing this out under my makeup and see how I truly feel about it. But I really like this off of my first try with it. And then the next thing I got was the first Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. I have used this before, I really love it, but I just ran out, so. I don't know. I'll try another sample again, see if it's as great as it used to be, <laughs> and yeah. And then the last sample that I got was the Clinique All About Eyes Cream. It is supposed to reduce circles and puffs. It comes in this little box. It's super cute. It's a really small packaging as well. I did try this under my eyes. Um, I only tried it one time, but I didn't really see anything, so maybe it's an overtime type of thing, but yeah, this is how the consistency is didn't notice anything so <laughs> but I mean maybe I'm just not giving it enough time it's probably it probably needs to work over time but yeah so that's how I feel about this little thing <laughs> and then if you guys were wondering where I got my little spa wrap thing I was wearing in my like footage I got this from Amazon these are super cute they really make getting ready just so much cuter you know romanticizing your life really <laughs> like it just really makes you want to get dressed like as soon as I wrap this on I'm like okay and I'm good to go like even when you don't feel like getting dressed I feel like just a little something something just helps you feel more up and so more ready more happy to get dressed if you get what I'm saying and so yeah I really love these they're super cheap on Amazon I believe the pack of three was like six dollars and you can wash these they're like a towel ish type of material basically like a spa wrap it's honestly what it is I do get a little bit of makeup on it while doing my face but yeah like I said you can wash these and they're super cute so I just wanted to recommend these these are on Amazon and not Sephora but just wanted to recommend it to the girlies but yeah all right girlies so that's pretty much all I have for this video I hope this video you know helped you find a few things to pick up from Sephora while they're having their little sale but if you happen to miss the sale I would still recommend most of these products honestly because they're pretty good and they'll definitely be my new essential especially during summer because I got a lot of glowy new items as you guys seen but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting me thank you to people who subscribed and like my videos and like always I will see you guys in the next one go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button if you guys want to see more